What's up, Foundation? What's up, YouTube? Man, it's me, your big partner, Cartoon 53. Man, I'm back again with part two, man. I know y'all, I know you're mad at me, but now you know, hey, sometimes how I go. Y'all want to know what happened to Ugga Booga? Man, I man, I served Ugga Booga, man. Hold up. Man, let me tell you something. Okay. From that, so now here's part two. Now I have assured myself that Ugga Booga played with my mail. That it was Ugga Booga who did that. Because I just could see myself making that mistake. But I figured I did do it. But now after her running off at the mouth, I said, okay, uh, Ugga, I'm going to get your booger. You know, that's what I'm thinking in my head. I'm going to get you. I'm going to show you. Now, at this time, I was just getting ready to transfer to phase two. Trying to work my way off the, off, you know, off lockdown. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, I'm trying to make it back. Make it back out to, to the main line. Kick it with the homies. <clears throat> but now, she didn't violate it. She got to pay. She got to pay, man. You know? I said, okay. I said, I'm going to show her. I'm going to, boy, look at her. I'm going to show her. I'm going to show her. I took a little bitty piece of razor blade I had. And I cut my mattress down by the feet, by the foot part, or opening about that big, about that big. But now I don't cut it on the side. I cut it up under so I could go up under it and put my hand into it. You know what I'm saying? Because now I don't want to look and see no, you know, opening at the foot of the bed or something like that. Now, my bed was always made up. I've always been OCD when it comes to that. I was real meticulous about my cell. From why, you know, even in why. So look, I cut the mattress about that big. We got the little foamy stuff on the inside. All right, cool, 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 cool. I had me uh, one of them old school VO5 shampoo bottles. One of them old school VO5 shampoo bottles, man. I poured, I, man, look, I went to the sink and I squished all the shampoo up out of there. I rinsed it out real good, real good, man, real good. Rinsed it out real good. Now, the shampoo bottles was tall. You know, them old VO5 ones, they was real tall. And I said, boom. I said, she finna get the works. She finna get the works. Man, listen, I made myself, boo-boo. I made myself take me a good S-H-I-T in that toilet. I stopped the bottom of it up. Now for y'all who can't, y'all, y'all got them weak stomachs, can't, can't take it. Can't don't hey, you might as well go ahead and sign off now. Cause I'm I'm gonna give you this one in the raw. I'm gonna give you this one in the raw detail. In the raw detail, man. Look what I do. Man, when I booed in that toilet, man, I got that, I got that shampoo bottle, man. And I sh I packed it in. I packed it in. I packed it in. I'm good at what I do. I packed it in. Then I turned around and I pissed in it. I pissed in it. Man, I shook it up. <laughs> pissed in it. Shook it up real good. Man, I put that top on there real tight. I took I took some wet toilet paper. And I, I wrapped it around the top because it'll go to stinking. It'll go to stinking. It'll go to stinking. And I wrapped it up. I wrapped it around that top real good. And I, I, I flipped my mattress over, rolled it back, and I took it and I pulled that little hole I made and I put the shampoo bottle in my mattress, in the hole. You know what I'm saying? Usually I just let it sit like on the side of the toilet try to fool them like I got some cleaning utensils or I try to hide it up under the bed. But now when I would go to shower, the police had a habit of checking myself because they know at any given time I was going to pull a stunt. They know I pull a stunt. You know what I'm saying? I get one of them, one of them that said something or did something wrong. Yeah, I'm finna get them. I'm finna, I'm finna get you. So they'll check myself. They still, even though I had been chilling out for a minute, not doing nothing wrong, 
They know at any given time, I'll flip the script. So I put it in there, boom, made sure it didn't have no lumps on it. You know, when I made my bed up look nice. And I said, this one gonna sit. This one was gonna sit, man. I wouldn't, this wasn't finna be no two, three day uh, quick flip. No, uh-uh, mm -mm, no. This wasn't finna be no quick flip, y'all. This was finna be the whole nine yards, the real done data. I was coming with all the intestinal tract fluids. I wanted her to get the full effect. I told myself, I'm finna let this sit for at least two weeks. Two weeks. And the reason why I said I'm gonna let it sit for at least two weeks, because I was I was like right at two weeks from leaving this side, going to the, the level one side, going to the level two side. I wanted to get her before I went over there to that level two side. You know what I'm saying? Hey, so I waited, man. I waited, I waited, I waited, man. I waited. I used to come out, play, uh, play, um, play chess with the, with the, with the police, Sankey and all that. He used to always try to ask me how everything going. Oh man, it's going good. I seen her several times. Now I stopped saying anything to her. I wasn't, she wasn't ooga booga. She wasn't nut no more. So I, I didn't, I didn't tell her go kiss hyenas and I, you know, I used to tell her all type of stuff. You know, I stopped talking to her. I called myself trying to rock her to sleep. I'm a rock, I'm a rock her to sleep. So she was feeling good about herself because she didn't have to hear my mouth. Cause that was the type, man, when I got on you, when I got on you, when I got on you, oh man, every time I see you, I had something to say. Every time. No matter what meal she was passing out, I was going to say something. Mail, uh, pill call, nurse, anything. You know what I'm saying? If we had to go somewhere, cupped up, escort. If she was there, I'd see her. I'd, I'd just say some old dumb stuff just to be saying something. You know, bored. Ain't got nothing to do. Young child, you know. Anyway, the first week go by. No problem, no problem, no problem. Uh, the tenth day go by, no problem. I got the day in my mind. On the fourteenth day, which was the two week mark, I said it's on, it's time. She finna pay. She finna get all of this, y'all. She finna get it. Yeah, she finna get it. I had to figure out how I was going to get her though. I had to figure out how I was going to get her, how I was going to get her. Just so happens one of them nights came where she was working that late night shift, that 10, to, that 10 at night till six in the morning. She was working, she was working, she was working one of them, one of them, um, one of them late night shifts. So I'm like, you know what? This is, this is right here. This is it right here. So now you got to look. I had raised up off of her for two weeks. Didn't say nothing to her, wasn't aggravating her, wasn't bothering her, none of that. So I done rocked this, I done rocked this whole sleep for real. <clears throat> On the night in question that I wanted her. When um she did her first count, when she did her like, I think her first count was at 1030. She came to work at 10. <clears throat> they do their first walkthrough count, whether it was a count or just walkthrough security check at 1030. When she come through, I um she'll be usually she'll be getting mail. She'll be pulling mail out the door as she coming through. She got the little light, click, click, you know what I'm saying? Then she'll get the mail. When she come by, I seen her. I seen the light. Ooh, I run up, I look, I look down. She going down the hallway that way. I'm looking. So she finna go down to the end, come across, and come back up on my side. Cool, cool, cool. When she get to my door, I hit the window. T -t 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 -t. She stopped and she looked back. Usually, sometimes she wouldn't even stop for me. But like I say, I done rocked her to sleep. I done left her alone. I ain't said nothing. I ain't did nothing. I ain't did nothing. It is what it is, you know? <clears throat> so she kind of looked. Then she come back. She say, uh, yes, what do you want? I said, um. I got some mail that I'm I'm writing. Um it's not go it's not ready right now. 
I said, but by the time you do the next check, it'll be ready. She like, just stick it in the door. You know how it go. Put it in the door. I get it. Put it in the door. I'm like, okay. Now, you know, you got to look. Now, this whole know what she did to me. You, then she had the nerve to, to, to shoot a lug at me two weeks ago about, yeah, uh, my mail or whatever. Like, let me know. Yeah, she did it. I'm like, all right, yeah. I, but I done left her alone for two weeks. Man, I done, I done, boy, I done, I done rock. She sleep. She think I done turned the new leaf. I ain't got nothing to say to her, y'all. Man, so I'm knowing her next security check is not going to be till 1130. She did her first one at 1030. Her next one going to be at 1130. So I'm waiting. Man, when she, she went on about her business. Boom. Man, I went up under there. I got that bottle. Man, when you talk about something funky. Woo, man, look here, boy. Tone Loke with Funky Cold Medina. He ain't had nothing on me. Not on this right here. This right here. This right here. Whew. Listen, when I took the bottle out, I looked at it. It was cooking. It was bubbling. Something was in there growing. I believe if I'd have kept that bottle about three more days, one of them aliens would have came up out that bottle because something was in there cooking. Look, if you hold the bottle like this here, it was moving on its own. I thought something was in the bottle at first, but what it was, all that poisons and gases and stuff, it was bubbling up, trying to, trying to, the bottle had blowed up that fat. It was a regular bottle this big, that big, it, 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 it had bowled out like that. It, it, some had to give. That stuff wanted up out of there. It wanted out. It wanted out. So look what I do. I waited, man. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm, man, I'm anticipating it. Oh, my goodness. Boy, I'm anticipating it. Mm, 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 mm. I'm waiting like a big dog, man. Look. She come, she, she come down for the count. I had my little radio. I never forget this song was on that way back in like 1979. I never forget we used to play, we used to be playing that song. And that's the only reason why I remember I remember this song playing. Because like in 79, uh, it was that won't you take me to Funky Town? Won't you take me to Funky Town? Do 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 do. And on the streets back in the day, we used to always say, we used to be in the park, you know, youngsters saying, won't you take me to Fire Tray Town? Won't you take me to Fire Tray Town? Do, 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 do. And I remember that song and I'm sitting there listening to it and I seen the light flashing because like each sale she get to, she'll flash that light to see up in there, see up in there. You know what I'm saying? I said, ooh, when she, when she go by, I look, she going down. I get, I get the, uh, I get the, I heard him and, and take the top off. Man, look here, man. When that top came off, when the top came off, ooh, 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 I immediately went to, uh, 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 uh. I'm trying not to throw up. I don't want to throw up. I got to get this wench. I don't want to throw up. But the smell was kicking like Van Damme. Ooh wee, who man? It had Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, Chuck Norris, and Van Damme in that bottle, and they was having a free fall kumite up in there. There can only be one. You know what I'm saying? Highlander might have been in there too. Anyway, I got the letter in the door, but now I'm holding it. So when she when she come by, she hit me with the light. I'm like, how you doing? She don't say nothing, but she go to pull the letter, and I pulled the letter back and made it seem like it fell. I'm like, oh. I say, oh, my letter fell. You didn't get my letter. So she like, slide it out. It slide it out. So I'm up on the door. I got the bottle in front of me close like this here, but I'm up on the door. The bottle up under the window so she can't see it. Man, look, I stuck that letter out. And 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 I and I, I said you got to get it. It's sliding down. So I let it fall again. And I'm like, I'm like, there go the letter right there. She like, no, it's inside. 
I say, no, the letter fell outside. It ain't in here. It fell out. It, it fell out. So the whole time I'm peeking through that little crack. I'm peeking through the little crack now. Man, this heifer, when she's when I tell her it fell on the outside and she talk about no, it fell on the inside. I'm like, no, it ain't. Where is it at? Man, look here. That heifer put her face up against the crack and try to look down. Hey, man. 21 gun salute. 21 gun salute, y'all. Here we go. And they're off. Man, I squirted. Man. Whoosh. Boost. All oh, it got on a shirt, some on her face. I don't know if any got in her mouth. I believe it did. Man, I soaked her down for all it was worth. I hit this hole with the real bop gun. Parliament was proud of me. What? Woo! Man, when I hit, when I caught that heifer, man, whoosh, she hollered. Ah! You'd have thought she seen a snake. The little flashlight thing she had, she dropped it on the ground and got somewhere. This hoe was head for the heels. Man, I fell out laughing. Now, everybody on the tier, they knew what I, because I told them, they knew I was finna get her. So, fools up looking, man, the whole tier, man, they rolling. They laughing like a big dog. Man, they laughing like a big dog. The homie Big Monster from A-Trey Gangster, he was laughing too, because he was telling me, Man, that stuff stank too. Man, you got the whole tear stinking. Man, that stuff stank. Man, I, I hit this wench for old and new, y'all. I hit her for old and new. Man, look, when I hit her with, I bet she seen her ancestors. <laughs> because, boy, she was ready to give up the ghost. Man, I almost sent this wench to the upper room. For real. She took off. Yow. Boy, I'm laughing. She hollered, ah! Yeah, uh-huh. I'm talking cash money doo-doo. Oh, that's because I, now y'all got to look. I used to cuss back then. I'm like, that's right, B. Yeah, you thought I forgot? Huh? You thought I forgot? You want to play with me? Yeah, I'll play with me. Let's play. You want to play? Let's play. Thought I forgot? I'm thinking she going to ride it out, just write me up. They going to send me to the lockup, TD side, and that's it. I'm thinking that's all going to happen. Man, about 15 minutes go by. About 15 minutes go by. Security come to my door. Security come to my door. Man, they going crazy. They talking cash money doo-doo. I don't want to hear it. They talk about what they going to do to me. This, that, and the other. Now, I done squoze all that I didn't squeeze out on her. I squoze in the toilet, flushed the toilet, rinsed the bottle out. The bottle was still stinking. I didn't give a dang. I was going to kick it out the next morning. But anyway, they come, told me to cuff up. I said, at first, I didn't want to cuff up. I mean, no, 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 no. What? You did this, you did that, you did this, you did that. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, all right, man, whatever. So I'm knowing they got to take me to the TV bank. So when they when I when I when I cuffed up, they opened the door. Man, listen, when I tell you one of them went oops upside my head, bam! Oh. They went to roughing me up, roughing me up, roughing me up. Man, I'm trying to kick, spit, bite. Man, they slapping me, punching me, gut blowing me, kicking me, they kneeing me, uh. They near me in my thighs. Uh, uh, punching me in the stomach, slapping me in the face. I'm like, man, I'm like, all right, you know. I'm like, oh, y'all gonna get it. I'm going to shut up. Mm, you think you are me? You. So they don't take me and put me back on the regular lockup. They take me to deep sea. Now, anybody been to YTS, you got you got your you got you got the regular lockup in the OR. But each unit got they got like four lockup cells in back of the cube where the police sit. You go up in the office and they take you in the back. You got four little cells back there that you be locked up in. That's called deep sand. They, you know, you back, you you gotta go through one door, 
then go up, which is a plastic regular door. Then you got to go through some steel bars <laughs> and put you in there. He ain't got enough room to do nothing but lay on that bed or use the bathroom. That's all the room you got. You ain't even got enough room to do push-ups unless you're going to do them on your bed. Man, they put me in that room, beat me up, and then hog tied me. They cut, they, 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 they handcuffed my legs together. They handcuffed my legs. Then they handcuffed my hands in back of me. And they then they handcuffed my hands to my legs. Hog tied. Hog tied me, y'all. They left me like that so long that I almost start crying. Man, if anybody who ever been cuffed up like that, hog tied. Man, I went through a lot. And why? And as a juvenile, I went through a lot. Anybody ever been hogtied and left like that, man, for hours on hours on hours? Man, listen, I had rolled myself to the bottom of the door. And I was, please, man, please take me up out of here, man. You know, come on now. Come on. Shut up. Shut up. Listen, when they finally, when they, when they finally, um, they didn't, they didn't take me out until the next morning at breakfast. When they finally took me up out the hog tie, when they, un, okay, they uncuffed my arms from my legs. My legs immediately start going down. My, um, my arm, uh, the gate, it start hurting. When they uncuffed my hands, my hands just fell flat to the side because it hurt. It, it had my joints pulled so long. It had hurt so bad. Just to try to, you know, bring my arm back to a regular stance. It was on fire. Man, it hurt it so bad. My legs hurt it. Man, they left me back there like that so long, man. When they finally took it, man, they left me back there, man. They gave me, they would feed me bologna and cheese. They would give me two, not what even no cheese, man. They was giving me two pieces of bread with a slice of bologna and a styrofoam cup of milk. A little styrofoam cup of milk. That's all they would feed me. They wasn't finished. Man, they man, they dogged me out. I messed that woman up. They moved her. They moved her to population. They moved her to population. They moved yeah. I didn't see her working back there no more. Cause I yeah, I probably would have got her again. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that yeah, that that's how that happened, man. Eventually they let me out. Um I went through phase one, phase two, phase three. Eventually, I went back to mainline, went back to population. But man, I'll never forget that boy. I told Ooga Booga up. The only per the only person I got worse than her was uh this female guard who messed me up real bad when I was in prison in Alabama. I hit her in the mouth. She almost she almost she almost passed away. That woman gagged. She coughed up a whole lung. Throwed up, gagged, or looked like her eyes was finna jump out her head. But I told y'all that story. I told y'all that one. She quit. That one quit. She quit. I got her so good. She said, oh, this ain't for me. And I seen her since I've been on the street this time. I seen her out here on the streets at the Walmart. <laughs> you know. But anyway, man, that's that story, man. Look. <laughs> Boy, look at Hey, I've been through some stuff, man. Hey, man, I represent the gangsters, homie. Man, the Babylon gangsters. Man, I'm out. Peace. Gangster for that. Gangster for that. Gangster for that.